Ooh, much better. <laughs> My name is Andre Swinger, and I also go by Shaquanda Coco Mulatto. I have a hot sauce company. So the sauce is sort of a story about our Barbadian culinary experience. Every time you eat something, you always have a little pepper sauce or you have like hot spicy pickles, so you're always eating something a bit spicy. And you know, doing drag is also a little spicy. So it kind of just <laughs> made sense. Hi, my name's Elazar. I am an assistant editor at Serious Eats, and today I am in Harlem, standing in front of Hot Bread Kitchen. Um, it's an amazing community kitchen and incubator for small food businesses. And one of those is Shaquanda's Hot Pepper Sauce. Uh, it's run by my really good friend Andre Springer, who is a fabulous drag queen. It's a very gay, very spicy, very delicious operation. And I want to take you inside to learn how he makes the sauce. How are you? Good, how you doing? Good, I am so excited to be here. You make my favorite hot sauce in the world. <laughs> you are gonna show me how to make one of your hot sauces. Yes, that is correct. Without giving any trade secrets. Yeah, you can't get all the secrets. Not all the juice, just <laughs> some of it. Yeah, so today we're gonna do uh, umami. It was inspired by kind of going out in drag and then uh, guys would holler at me on the street from across the way and didn't realize that I was, you know, a dude in a dress. And so <laughs> they were like, yo, ma, mommy, mommy. And when they realized, they were like, ooh. So this is kind of an homage to me going out at night. And it also has this sort of umami profile to it because of the delicious black garlic that I use in the sauce. So how do we start? Well, we start by chopping these onions and then we're going to caramelize them. Okay. Yeah. Should we begin? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Who's chopping? You, bitch. Okay. <laughs> my family is from the Caribbean. From my mother's side and my father is Italian-American but I'm Brooklyn uh, true and true, and definitely a West Indian uh, cultural person. Barbadian hot sauce is typically onions, turmeric, mustard, peppers, vinegar, salt. I did my own sort of variation of that, just speaking about New York City in general as like a diverse place and taking different culinary experiences growing up and producing something that envelops that whole thing. All right, it's going to do some vinegar. Why do you use three different kinds of vinegar instead of just one? Instead of one? Yeah. Well, like I love the flavor of balsamic, but I didn't want to overpower it. So adding a combination of the red wine and white vinegar added mm -hmm. that sweetness. Nice, yeah. Mm. So this part of making the sauce when you're making a lot of it is time consuming. <laughs> just imagine doing like 40 pounds of this. Before you start peeling this, will you explain what black garlic is? This is fermented garlic. It's like really fermented. Because mm -hmm. the smell is unlike anything else I've uh -huh. ever smelled. <laughs> it's like, it, it barely even smells like garlic at this point. It smells point. like soy sauce, right? Yeah. Why did you land on black garlic in the first place? Because I was thinking about how do I associate words with food? And I thought of like using only sauces that begin with the letter B. Are like ingredients that began with the letter B. So it's like, oh, balsamic vinegar, blackberries, blueberries, oh my God. black salt. Wow, the conceptual like, oh, reach. <laughs> it's like conceptual drag, too. Yeah. <laughs> little offbeat drag. Yeah. I literally could hear the story like a hundred times <laughs> the first time you introduced Chiquanda to the people. As a hot sauce? The first time was at Bushwig in 2015 or 14. Simon asked me to perform and I said I would only do it in people's mouths as a sort of way to take the experience from the stage or on the street or in the bar into an edible form. Like I thought since performance is time-based, so is eating and sort of to take it full circle my whole life, which involves food, performance, drag, all those things into one thing. And it's a Barbadian sauce. It just kind of made sense to do a hot sauce. All right. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so messy. TV magic, we're gonna erase that. <laughs> I think we're ready to take this over to the stove. Oh yes, that's good. Oh, I think this is ready, right? This looks good. All the blueberries are in there. So we're gonna let that boil. We're gonna let it cook down for about an hour and then we'll blend it and then bottle it. Mm. Oh my God, wow. So to speed up the time, we're just gonna blend it first and blend it again. Oh, that smells so good.
What was your thought process for putting Shaquanda's big mug on the front of that bottle? I think it was a combination of looking at the right photos and then choosing something that really kind of represented the sort of cheekiness of myself and my character and then paying homage to my grandma and my mom and all the other ladies. Not to compare it directly like a Mona Lisa because that's entirely something else, but it is this sort of secret smile that says something. The front part is obviously my face, and depending on the sauce, shows a transition of drag. So the first one, the original, is sort of a, a getting ready, kind of being at home scenario. And then the second is, you know, the longer kind of hair, which is like the daytime or feeling like a little bit more sassy. You know, because sometimes the long hair makes you feel that way. <laughs> But you know, you can have short hair and be sassy too. And then the umami, which is the purple, delicious blueberry, blackberry one, is more of a nighttime kind of feeling. And then the uh, spicier smoke is the three days after, where I'm just tired and I got like my scruff. So the sauce is done, and there's pretty much no better vehicle for hot sauce in the world than chicken wings. So we baked up a batch in the oven. And now Andre is gonna do his take on a buffalo sauce <laughs> to go with our wings. Ooh, chow, that's a lot of butter. I'm gonna give it a <laughs> shake, because it's natural, so separation is natural. Seems about right. <laughs> that's it. Woo! There it is. A little more. I was. I love scallions, so I'm just gonna go. I mean, yeah. Let's let's use what we cut. A little salt bay moment. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a drum person or do you like the wing? I like it both. Yeah. I'm pretty versatile with my wings. <laughs> well then, take what you want. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That was good. That sauce, just like. On top of a fried chicken wing, that's it, boo. Yep. You guys want the chicken wing? Let's grab it, you can grab it in your hands. Oh my god. <laughs> the reception has been pretty amazing, and I'm in an industry where it's mostly like dads and, you know, granddads and like girls, so it's really fun. And just to see the sort of reactions, even in the markets, if I decide to dress up, participating or being in an environment where they are normally not able to meet someone like myself. Like, um, it's in sort of way this kind of activism um, and activation of a space that I can have this interaction with, you know, just kind of making a better place one person at a time. I think of the past and like wh where we were like 20 years ago, like I wouldn't be able to do this. And so now like I'm able to do this and I think that's an extra push of like happiness and progression and like comfort and like love that is very necessary right now more than ever. Yeah, I think it's important that kids see a name like Shaquanda, you know, especially black and brown children who've been sort of ridiculed for the creativity of their names to have like an artisanal product that's represented on a shelf next to another product that's as good. It just adds this sort of value that was already there that's just now more present and it's important that children of different ethnicities and queerness are able to see themselves represented in a, in a way that is like rich in culture and also in value. Yay! Thank you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. You're an angel. <laughs>